Hello everyone, I am Muskan Varishna and today we continue our second chapter of class 6, Components of Food, Part 2nd. In this part, we study about fats, vitamins and minerals. Now we come on our first component of food which is fat. As all nutrients of food, fats are also a essential part of our diet. It is important for good health and development of our body. Fats are energy giving food. As we discuss in our carbohydrate topic that carbohydrates are energy giving foods. But in comparison of carbohydrate, we receive more energy from fats. The sources of fats are we obtain fat from both plants and animals and the sources of fats which we obtain from plants are groundnut, walnut, sesame, sunflower, mustard and etc. And the sources of fats which we obtain from animals are milk, mutton, fish, butter, egg etc. And the mutton is a type of meat which we obtain from cattle. Now, the functions of fats are, these are the major functions of fats. And the first one is, it provides strength to muscles. Our body muscles obtain strength from fats. It prevents internal organs. If our body gets external shock from any reason, then fats prevent our internal body organs. Produce more energy. As we discussed before that both carbohydrate and fats are energy giving food. But in comparison of carbohydrate, fat produce more energy. Fourth, protects the body against rapid loss of heat. Our body continuously loses heat. But the fat which present below our skin protects the body against rapid loss of heat. A solvent for fat soluble vitamins. There are two types of vitamins. First one is fat soluble and second one is water soluble which we are going to further read into the details. And fat act as a solvent for fat soluble vitamins. Energy storage for future use. If our body have a sufficient amount of energy to fulfill the immediate needs of our energy, then fats can store their energy for our future use. And the example of this is camel. In camel, the excess amount of fat are accumulated on its hump. That's why camel can survive for several days without any food. Next one is Cholesterol. Have you heard about cholesterol? In many television advertisement, movies or books. Then what is cholesterol? Cholesterol is nothing but a type of fat found in our food and in our blood. Now we perform a test for the confirmation of fat that fat is present in our food or not. For this test, take a small quantity of food item for testing. Wrap the food item in a small piece of paper. Crush the food item which we wrapped in paper. Straighten the paper and dry the paper by keeping it in sunlight because water is present in our food and when we crush the food item then our paper is become wet due to the presence of water and when we dry the paper then Water is converted into vapor. And now observe the paper. So, when you observe it, then you find that what is the paper on it, it will be a layer on it. What will it indicate? That fat is present in our food. And the observation and oily page on the paper is present in our food. And the observation and oily page on the paper indicates the presence of fat in the tasted food item. Now we have a look on junk food. Are you like junk food? Yes, everyone like it. But junk food are not healthy for our body. 
Food that is not very good for us but that is ready to eat and quick to prepare. वो फूड जो कि हमारे हेल्थ के लिए तो अच्छे नहीं होते हैं लेकिन वो आसानी से प्रिपेयर हो जाते हैं और उनको ईट या फिर उनको खाने के लिए हर कोई हमेशा रेडी रहता है जंक फूड इज हाई इन कैलोरीज बट लो इन न्यूट्रिशनल कंटेंट। जो जंक फूड होते हैं उनके अंदर जो अमाउंट है न्यूट्रिय की वो बहुत ही कम रहती है लेकिन जो अमाउंट है कैलोरीज की वो बहुत ज्यादा होती है देन वॉट इज कैलोरीज Calories is nothing but the unit of energy. Increased risk of obesity, heart disease, etc. Due to the regular consumption of junk food, it increases the risk of obesity, heart disease, and many serious diseases in our body. The example of junk foods are burger, chow mein, pizza, cold drinks, samosa, manchurian, etc. These are the examples of junk food. Now we come on our next component of food which is vitamins. Vitamins are micronutrients. That means our body needs vitamins in small quantity. Vitamins needs to grow and develop normally. Vitamins are required to fight against diseases. That means vitamins increase our immune system. There are 13 types of vitamins that are essential for our body and our body cannot produce vitamins itself that's why we have to take vitamins from food now types of vitamins there are two types of vitamins first one is fat soluble vitamins and second one is water soluble vitamins fat soluble vitamins are vitamins that can dissolve in fat that means in these vitamins fat act as a solvent and water soluble vitamins are vitamins that can dissolve in water that means for water soluble vitamins water act as a solvent and the fat soluble vitamins are vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K and the water soluble vitamins are vitamin B and vitamin C. There is a trick to remember fat soluble vitamins and the trick is KEDA. That means K E D A. Iska matlab kya hua ki jo bhi vitamin K E D and A hai wo kya hai fat soluble vitamins and remaining B and C are water soluble vitamins. Ab aap isse kya karo ye kabhi nahi bologe. Okay? Now sources of vitamins and the source for the vitamins A are papaya, milk, butter, carrot, egg, etc. Sources for vitamin B are grains, nuts, fish, meats, soya bean, dairy products, fruits, etc. And dairy products are milk and milk products like cheese, butter, curd, etc. Sources for vitamin C are citrus fruits like lemon, orange, etc. Juices, tomatoes, amla, and etc. Sources for vitamin D are cereals like wheat, rice, millet, maize, etc. Fish, egg, dairy products, fortified milk, etc. Now what is the meaning of fortified milk? A cow's milk in which, jo, uh, in which nutritional contents are more that does not found naturally. And sources for vitamin E are fortified cereals, leafy vegetables, nuts, etc. And the sources for vitamin K are cabbage, spinach, cumin, etc. And these are the sources for these vitamins. Now we study about the functions of vitamins. And the function of vitamin A is, it is important for our teeth, bones, skin and the healthy immune system. The function of vitamin B is, it is important for making RBCs. And the meaning of RBCs is 
red blood cells which is present in our blood and it is important for healthy nerve and brain function and etc and the nerve is belongs to our brain vitamin c it prevents from cell damage and it reduces risk for certain cancers heart diseases and sector and the function of vitamin d is it helps the body to absorb calcium and phosphorus etc and the calcium and phosphorus are minerals which is important for our body the function of vitamin e is it prevents the oxidation of vitamin a and you study about the oxidation in your further classes and the function of vitamin k is it helps in blood clotting now what is blood clotting to kya hota hai ki jab hame injury ho jati hai to jahan pe bhi injury ki site hoti hai uske upar blood kya ho jata hai clot hona start hota hai taki jo blood hai wo overflow na ho kisi bhi injury ki wajah se तो जो ये ब्लड क्लोटिंग प्रोसेस है उसके अंदर जो ये विटामिन के है वो क्या करता है हेल्प नाउ वी कम ऑन अवर नेक्स्ट कंपोनेंट ऑफ फूड विच इज मिनरल्स एज ऑल अदर न्यूट्रेंट्स मिनरल आर आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अवर बॉडी मिनरल्स आर नीडेड बाय अवर बॉडी इन स्मॉल क्वांटिटी ईच वन असेंशियल फॉर मेंटेनेंस ऑफ अवर हेल्थ द मेन मिनरल्स आर कैल्शियम आयरन Phosphorus, iodine, copper, and etc. These are the main minerals. And the sources of minerals are first one is calcium. And the sources for calcium are dairy products, leafy green vegetables, orange juice, etc. And the sources for iron are meat, beef, etc. Eggs, beans, dry fruits, wheat. etc now what is beef beef is not beef is nothing but a type of meat which we obtain from cattle okay the sources of phosphorus are milk meat egg fish pulses etc and the sources for potassium are banana tomato potato citrus fruits like lemon orange etc beans etc the sources for iodine are vegetables seafood salt etc and the salt that means iodized salt the sources for zinc are beef pork meat nuts beans etc and these are the minerals and the sources of minerals now functions of minerals and the function of calcium is blood clotting muscle contraction strengthening of bones and teeth etc jaisa ki humne vitamin k mein padha tha ki what is the blood clotting to jo ye calcium hai wo bhi blood clotting ke andar helpful hota hai aur jo ye calcium hai wo hamari bones and teeth ko kya provide karwata hai strength next one is function of iron it is helpful in the formation of hemoglobin in rbcs जो ब्लड है उसके अंदर टू टाइप्स ऑफ सेल्स प्रेजेंट होती है आरबीसी एंड डब्ल्यू तो जो ये आरबीसी है इसके अंदर हीमोग्लोबिन प्रेजेंट होता है एंड जो ये हीमोग्लोबिन का जो फॉर्मेशन है वो किसकी वजह से होता है आयरन की वजह से नेक्स्ट वन इज पोटेशियम एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ पोटेशियम इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू सेल्स जो भी हमारी बॉडी के अंदर जो भी न्यू सेल्स जनरेट होती है वो किसकी वजह से होती है पोटेशियम की वजह से नेक्स्ट वन इज आयोडिन and the function of iodine is it is help it is need necessary for normal body growth and it is helpful in the proper function of thyroid gland and the thyroid gland is present in our neck the function of sodium is to carry nerve impulses and to control volume of fluids in the body and the function of phosphorus is strengthening of bones and teeth जो फॉस्फोरस है वो भी क्या करता है जो हमारे बॉन्स एंड टिथ है उसको स्ट्रेंथ प्रोवाइड कराता है एंड नाउ विद दिस एंड नाउ विद दिस फंक्शंस ऑफ मिनरल्स आवर टुडेज पार्ट ऑफ इज नाउ कंप्लीटेड थैंक यू